Hi everyone, welcome back to New Post today. And today let's speak about India's very important neighbor in West Asia that's with Saudi Arabia. So the Prince of Saudi Arabia Mohammed Salman is here on a visit to India and some big uh, announcements made during India and Saudi Arabia especially the long awaited West Coast refinery project also called as the Ratnagiri refinery and petrochemicals complex that is going to come up in Maharashtra on the West Coast. It is touted to be the world's largest greenfield refinery and also will make India a leading position among the refineries of the world. So let's look have a quick review of what are the important uh, announcements made. Uh, we all know that Saudi Arabia is one of key strategic partners of uh, India in Middle East. The two sides have also been focusing on strengthening recently the defense and the security partnership. Saudi Arabia is a part of the important India Middle East East uh, the economic corridor that was announced during the 18th G20 summit that recently happened on September 9th in New Delhi. India is Saudi Arabia's largest second largest trading partner while Saudi Arabia is India's fourth largest trading partner. At the G20 summit, India, US, Saudi Arabia and the European Union announced an agreement to set up the India Middle East Europe shipping and railway connectivity corridor in a counter to China's Belt and Road Initiative. The Arab nation is now considering to set up a sovereign wealth fund office in the gift city of Gandhinagar for investment facilitation. The two sides now recently have, uh, have agreed to set up a joint task force to identify and channelize the promised US uh, dollars 100 billion by Saudi Arabia for the refinery project. Saudi Prince is on a visit to India and some big announcement was made in energy cooperation. Now during the state visit of the Prince Mohammed bin Salman of Saudi Arabia, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Prince agreed to set up, uh, speed up the implementation of the West Coast Refinery Project, the world's largest greenfield refinery petrochemicals complex going to come up in Ratnagiri in Maharashtra on the West Coast. When completed, the much delayed West Coast Refinery, which was conceived in 2014, would be one of the world's largest refineries which, uh, with an expected capacity of 60 million tons per annum. The two sides agreed to establish a task task force for this to expedite the project, making a significant step in their partnership. Both sides also identified energy, defense, semiconductors and space as the areas of intensified cooperation between India and Saudi Arabia. They also agreed to identify the diversify the current status of hydrocarbon relationship into a comprehensive energy partnership. The two, uh, two sides signed eight packs to boost cooperation in a whole range of areas including digitization and investment. Trade in local currencies was also the part of but it's just at the beginning state. So what exactly is this West Coast Refinery Project? It is the first and the largest greenfield refinery project with a production capacity of 60 million tons per annum and is touted to be the largest integrated refinery and petrochemical facility in the world. The project encompasses various other the critical facilities such as a marine storage, port infrastructure, three single point moorings, a pipeline and ma manifold, four 48 inch submarine pipelines, small jetties, anchorage areas, a crude oil terminal, a crude oil storage and a blending plant, desalinization plant, on site utilities and other essential com uh, components related to the project. It aims to build an integrated uh, a refinery uh, and petrochemical complex on Maharashtra's west coast. Three of India's leading government-owned public sector undertakings in the oil, uh, oil and gas sector will come together in a joint vendor, uh, venture under the name called as Ratnagiri Refinery and Petrochemicals Limited and this will consist of the Indian Oil Corporation Limited or the IOCL, the Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited and the Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited HPCL. In 2019, now Saudi Aramco and the Abu Dhabi based National Oil Company also joined to the venture collectively owning about 50 percent stake in the project and which is going to expect it to bring a foreign direct investment of dollar 35 billion to india in addition to fuels now the project is going to produce a variety of downstream uh, petrochemicals to suit india's rapidly rising fuel and petrochemical needs so what are the advantages of this project the scale and the promise of the project not only will bring in foreign direct investment but also technology as well 
The refinery is expected to produce about 1.2 billion barrels uh, of day uh, when completed alongside with various petro uh, petroleum products that will be produced by attaching the petrochemical plants beyond immediate benefits of foreign direct investments production of petro uh, of petroleum and related projects it will create thousand and even lakhs of new jobs in india the west coast refinery would further fortify india's growing dominance as a major oil refiner and the currently pleasantly has a fourth largest refining capacity in the world after us china and russia besides reducing india's dependence on imported petroleum products the project will also allow india to cater to a whole variety of niche petrochemical product requirements in the global market not only in the global market but also at home uh, but there has been some glitches or problems with regard to the project for some time the plant has been in limbo and for even for several years i would say with the project even coming under political pressure from the state government of maharashtra with very swift uh, uh, opposition to the project many of the ham hang ups have come up because of the local uh, protest with locals questioning the more concerned environmental effects of the project and uh, in spite of the lacks of the jobs that are going to be uh, provided the involvement of activists and uh, local politicians in the projects have also further complicated the pro issue even more and at one point even the uddhav thakre government had also suggested that the project be shifted to gujarat rather from maharashtra so now as uh, the government at the center has only few months in power it wants to really expedite this project as soon as possible to bring india in a much better position is with regard to refinery of petrochemicals and not only to play a very br a great important role at home reducing dependence on petrochemical uh, products but also catering to the global supply chain and this will place india uh, definitely on a better position with regard to the energy security and also the petroleum based industries at home and supply uh, global chain as well so these are the important points which are really important for the west coast uh, refinery project and also what are the problems being faced so now the task force has come up to, uh, come up to expedite the project to to also uh, to also source the required investment which the saudi arabia has promised for and i hope this information was really helpful to you all with regard to india saudi relation especially with burgeoning relation with regard to energy defense and now even venturing into space so they have decided to make the energy partnership more comprehensive strategic based energy partnership and this was described by the prime minister narendra modi itself so So I hope this information was really helpful to you all. And if you did, please do like, share, subscribe, and please do not forget to comment. And please do not forget to tell me what else would you like me to discuss with you with regard to TSPSC Group One Mains examination as well. And I shall see you in my next post. Until then, it's very happy learning.